Fresh from the showcase at Swiss Watch Expo, if you find yourself in the market for an all gold sport watch with a fun colored dial, I've got a tough choice for you coming up. We have a clash of the titans this morning from Swiss Watch Expo. We have a all gold Rolex GMT Master II versus an all gold Rolex Submariner. And these are both fantastic watches, especially if you're looking for a really dressy gold version of a all of a, of a sport watch, but you want that fun flair of a colored dial. These are really good choices for you. We've got the 116618 and a 116718. Now, these are really great watches though, because when you look at them, they are both just landmarks in the history and progression of Rolex watches. This one came out in 2005. It's the 50th anniversary of the Rolex GMT Master. Came out around 1955. And to celebrate that, Rolex made one with their corporate color, the green dial. And this is a green lacquer dial. It's really beautiful. And uh, the loom plots just jump out at you from it. Um, what's really different about this one at the time in 2005, this was when they debuted the maxi case. And when you look at the, this case design, it's very different from say the John Mayer green Rolex Daytona, which has a very curved case. Uh, the, the side profile of the Daytona is very curved, but these watches both have this very sporting case. That's got a very flat side. They remind me a little bit of the Tudor Heritage Black Bay, the Black Bay GMT, that's just kind of a slab of a watch. When you feel this watch, because this was the first one that they came out with in the six digit reference number, it has the solid links, the solid end links, the completely solid clasp with uh, a machined uh, high polish interior. The way it works is just fantastic, but uh, in so many ways, it was such a big upgrade from the previous model. I mean, really take kind of any aspect of it and compare it to the previous model, and you'll see that, that they really refined the model and the design. This one is the first one that had the, uh, the thicker shoulders, the, the, the thicker lugs. Um, it's the, the, the maxi case where you also added the maxi dial. The loom plots are much bigger. The bezel's a lot wider. It's the Cerachrome ceramic bezel so this is not going to fade it's not going to change color it's not going to get scratched uh, not going to take on that uh, that look of a beat up new york sub uh, new york cab or new york subway um, but when you hold this watch it's just so heavy i mean it really feels more like the platinum watches from the previous generations of rolexes and so this was kind of the the big debut of this size watch they wanted to make the watch look a little thicker a little chunkier than the previous models. The previous models had much thinner lugs and uh, all those other things that make this watch just look bigger, even though it's still 40 millimeter. It has the, the bigger crown guards, the wider bezel and the maxi dial together. It really tricks the eye. If you hold one of these next to the previous model, you'll swear that this one's bigger, but it's still 40 millimeter. The, um, uh, the watch was a, a huge success. They filtered that design down into the rest of the line right away. And then by 2018, 2019, we're seeing this version of the Submariner that has the Sunray dial instead of the plain lacquer, but it's still using the same case. Uh, it's still on the bracelet, even though it's a Submariner, it has the high polish center with the uh, brushed edges. And the clasp is a little bit different than the GMT. The GMT has the easy link feature where you can expand it half a link or uh, contract it with no tools just on the fly. If you feel hot, you're stuck to your watch at the Braves game, you can make it a little bit bigger or in the winter, you feel like it's a little loose, you can uh, tighten it up. On the Submariner, we have the easy glide system that allows you 20 millimeters of adjustment, just being able to slide the bracelet in the clasp in two millimeter increments. So you can really get a lot of fine tuning there and that's made for going over a wetsuit or yeah, thick clothing, whatever you might have. But just comparing them side by side, really the biggest design feature that you see between the two is not so much the dial color, it's the way the numbers look on the bezel. So my recommendation would be either one of these watches is a fantastic pick. The Submariner is just a little bit thicker 
because of that extra water resistance, the case back is a little bit thicker than on the GMT Master. The GMT Master is still water resistant to a respectable 100 meters, 330 feet, completely swimmable. But um, you wouldn't want to go really deep like you would with the Submariner. But just the way they wear, the Submariner is just a little bit thicker on the wrist, but very similar in every other aspect. And the main th question, though, is do you like the way the numerals look on the bezel of the Submariner better, or do you like the GMT Master? Um, that'll be for you to decide. It would be a tough choice for me. Uh, if you, my wife called and said, hey, you got to bring home one of these watches today. I don't know which one I'd pick. Uh, let us know, though. Give us a call here at Swiss Watch Expo. We'll be happy to help you sort through our inventory. We keep around 3,000 watches in stock. And uh, these are here today, but they might not be for long. So give us a call and see if we've still got these. We'll be happy to ship them out to you.